Anthony Silva. I'm a professional bass player, uh, as well as a studio engineer and jazz instructor. Tell us a little bit about your uh, practice regimen as well as uh, the work that you do. Practice regimen. Um, I try. I try to look a lot for uh, mapping out the neck, just so I know where to go next. And how how I go about that is just learning a bunch of chords first, and those chords get breaking down to arpeggios. And then I just I do a lot of uh, plucking warm ups. A lot of uh, drum rhythms to open my plucking and lots of scale, lots of scale warm ups just so I can just get around when I need to. And so far, this just kept me going with that regimen. Uh, name three artists that inspire you. Mm. Um, I really got more into playing when I got into Billy Sheehan because his, his plucking really. It really, um, it really brought a whole new realm of where I want to go next. And then as far as slaps, I wanted to learn slap. But it was all just one stuck, one stuck little octave area. So I got more into uh, Victor Wooten. I got more into a lot of his, more of his little stuff. And then I, I remembered I have a very large range due to the instrument I purchased, so I got more to Gene Boudin stuff and who plays his instrument like a like basically a piano. So I wanted to learn a lot of his stuff. Those are my three. Uh, what role do you feel an artist, as well as uh, the art they create, has in society? Um, every everything that around us takes creativity. The seat I'm sitting on to creativity to make. The, these clothes, these clothes that I'm wearing to creativity to make. And the same thought process that music has on someone will develop into more for everybody. Uh, tell us a little bit more about the, the research that you do as well as you know the, the knowledge that it takes to perform and train the music that you do. <clears throat> I did a lot of, um, I went to a lot of jazz clinics and I did a lot of classical. I did. I got into a lot of lute suites as well, and just practice, practice, practice. Just don't. I always thought of it to to keep me going, is to think that person has the same number of fingers as me, as well as the same number of brains I have. So I would just assume I'm halfway there at all times. So I just think if he could, if he or she could do it, why can't I do it? And I'll just pound at it till I can do it. Uh, what would you say is your favorite piece of music? Oh, man. That's a huge slap in the face. Uh, I, like, I like anything by Ray Charles because he perceives the world in a way that I don't think a lot of people will ever experience and to hear how he perceives everything is, is, is amazing to me. So I, I love I love anything by Ray Charles. Uh, what would be your dream project? Oh man, what would be my dream project? Hmm. I re <laughs> you're gonna think this is silly, but I really I really want to find like um, a tribe a tribe somewhere, and I want to do I'd like to do something with them because they're very rhythmically culturally sound. I like a lot of the... They're very culturally sound with their like... And I love I love how rhythmic they are and I love how, what they do and I want to really work with one, any of them, because they're, they're all nice. So if it would be a, any project that's a dream of mine, just a tribe, just any tribe with some drums they smack around and I feel fulfilled.